Hello everybody. Today I am bringing you this layout with this photo of my leg and foot and my iPad. And it's on a lake that is a few hours from me and I was enjoying a summer day. So I am backing or matting that photo with a piece of packaging from Ellie's Ellie Studio. It's really just from one of their monthly kit packages and I have no idea which one it was. I just saved it and because um, I knew it would be perfect for backing a photo at some point. So now I'm assembling the main part of the layout and I love, love, love the background paper which is an ombre paper from Simple Stories from the Good Day Sunshine kit, um, Good Day Sunshine collection and the name of the paper is Carefree and I love that and I'm so glad that I was able to really highlight that paper. And then what I did is I took one of the 6 by 12 cut aparts, the name of that, um, and it's the a summer to-do list, the name of that is from the Good Day Sunshine again and it's the page elements is the name of the paper. Then I pulled that pineapple there and that is an Amy Tangerine inflatable. It's from the Anna Wim collection and it's called um, Inflated Ephemera. And then I am just going through some die cuts that I have from Ellie's studio again. So um, right now I'm just kind of looking at different labels and things I could use. Um, the favorite photo tab that I have there at the top, the yellow one, is from Ellie Studio, the Sunny Days collection. It's the bits and pieces, which is their ephemera. And now I have a sheet of Jonah labels from Ellie Studio, and I'm kind of looking, trying to decide what color I'll use on this layout. And I'm just kind of placing it there to trying to figure it out. And I don't like the red because it's too distracting. I have the ombre there and I I think the red was just really brought your attention away. So now I'm looking at things in aqua colors and I really like that one there. And then I'm just going to kind of play around a little bit and look at this yellow one perhaps. Um, that yellow one though kind of does the same thing as the red one does, but I have to cut it apart first, or trim it actually, to figure that out, that that's not going to really work for me. And the reason I thought maybe yellow might work is that pineapple is kind of yellow based. Now, but speaking of the pineapple, I really do like this inflatable ephemera, but it's pretty, um, dimensional on your page. So definitely the dimension of, of more than a couple of pop dots high. So if you're not a person who doesn't like it um, high or di really dimensional pages, this is not for you. However, the first one that I used, I actually used on a card. There was a flamingo in the collection and I actually um, made a card with it. And my friend who received it absolutely loved it. And that way then it's not such a big deal that you have a big piece of ephemera. All right, so now I'm kind of looking at maybe inking a few edges here because I think some of these things need some definition. For instance, I thought that that label got very lost against the aqua color of the ombre paper that it's sitting on top of. So I, I'm going to take my Jenny Bolin fountain pen ink, which this ink pad is quite a few years old. Jenny Bolin, I don't even think is doing uh, scrapbook supplies anymore, much less any inks. So I'm going to ink that and I'm going to ink my photo mat there and then I'll ink the die cuts as well. And that will just all help everything pop off the page. You'll see I'm coming back and I'm getting the edge of that paper as well too. And it just helps everything stand up against whatever it's mounted on. And I'm looking at this in the 
my preview screen for the video and I and I'm still just love love loving that paper I actually have the layout sitting next to me but it's just so beautiful and perfect for a layout about a summer day this photo was taken last July I don't scrapbook in chronological order I do store my layouts in chronological order and I store in three ring binders so it doesn't matter and then when I finished a year and I've scrapped everything that I think that I want to for sure I go back through and if there's any holes I just um, reorganize my layout so that they flow so there's no holes basically in the the books all right so I've committed that I'm definitely going to do that Jonah label with the pineapple there and I thought about maybe putting like a date or something on that layout I did want to use that large page element that 6 by 12 element to do quite a bit of journaling so I'm going to accomplish that but I thought maybe I would put the date on the label and really it's just a vehicle to sort of get to bridge the gap between the 6x12 page element and the pineapple. That's why I did that label, otherwise there would have been some trapped white space there. But in the end I decided on something else. Now I also decided that it was looking a little blank on the top left up there, so I went back to my Ellie Studio Sunny Days Bits and Pieces and I found that Today banner And what I'm going to and actually it was a it was a not a banner I cut it into a banner it was just a rectangular element and I cut the little fishtails in it so that it looked like a banner and that made a little bit more sense with it hanging off and then I found that little that little word strip with the heart on that it that said these days and I thought how appropriate that was because I love summer days and that's what this was so that not only served to take up that kind of space with the label there but it also became the title to my layout which I think is pretty cool in the end the fact that that worked out the way that it did now I'm still looking because it's feeling the layout's still feeling pretty flat I have one main element popped up but nothing else is popped up so I'm trying to decide what to do there to get a little bit more dimension in the layout and right there to my right I have the Ellie Studio March kit I believe and I'm going to yeah it's the March 2017 monthly kit and I found a little star, a little circle star die cut there. I'm going to pop that up on a foam circle and I'm going to put that on the layout there. Now, do you see what I have in my hand? That would be a stamp set. I'm actually going to stamp on this layout. I don't own a ton of stamps, but I rarely use even the small amount that I have. And I love these word stamps by Ellie Edwards. They were actually from the December Daily release that she did. There's no name on this particular set. It's just the word, um, the words from the December Daily. And even though they do have some holiday-like pieces in them or word uh, phrases in them, there's a lot of things that you can use just for every day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick three different phrases and I will stamp on this layout. And I just realized something. I think I said I had my fountain pen ink out from Jenny Bowling. It's actually the brown sugar ink. Everything's stamped in the brown here. So that little stamp there says savor the moments which is completely appropriate and I'm going to stamp it once full strength and then stamp off two more times on these I just think because I'm not an expert stamper for me it takes some of the fear out of doing the stamping on the layout because if I do it more than once it doesn't have to be perfect then right 
I do have that little piece of scrap paper there just to the left of the pineapple and I'm just doing a test of the stamp. I haven't used all of these phrases yet. So by stamping off, then I know that it, you know it's actually working properly. Then I chose another stamp there and that stamp says my favorite. And I like that one quite a bit because I do love this this dock actually belongs to some friends of mine. I was up visiting them and I very often like to just sit and read on that dock. Now again, I'm still looking because the layout still feels very flat to me and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do about that. And then I see this die cut and that again, the star gut die cut came from the Sunny Days Bits and Pieces and I really, really like that. So I'm going to put that up there. So that gives a little bit of dimension to that top right now, so that's not quite so flat. However, it's still not really dimensional enough for me in general. So I'm kind of testing a few pieces here and I find that one that one says enjoy the moment and that came from a bits and pieces grab bag that I bought on Black Friday. So I don't know what collection that's actually from. They just it's always a really good deal when they do that. This is a second year or 2016 actually was the second year that I did this where I bought the grab bag. All right. So then I selected a third stamp there and that says create create joy. And that's really important for me. Joy was my word of the year for 2016, so I like getting that word into layouts when I can because I intentionally created joy last year. So I really, really love how that all looks. I'm going to journal after I shut the camera off, so here's a still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well, and I'll be back with another layout again soon. Bye!